Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and for this video it's going to be a short update video regarding some very exciting news we have with the new game update 5.4. Now this update is going to launch at the end of August. I believe the day given to us was August 22nd and with that um, I think some people were expecting obviously the new flashpoint and stuff but actually there's some really surprising information that was given to us about some new things that might ca catch you a little bit off guard. It definitely surprised me in terms of what's coming so let's talk about it. So the very first thing that I think everyone was expecting is we're going to see the new flashpoint crisis on umbara now umbara is a planet that a little bit of hype built around it because it was indeed in the clone wars there's a very cool uh, story arc on that planet but obviously this is going to take place uh, while on the same planet with it it's going to continue on the iocat storyline where we get closer to identifying the betrayer and finding out exactly um how the story is going to unfold and basically what information we were given on it not so much regarding the story but rather regarding the mechanics it's going to have three difficulties story veteran and master mode now story and veteran mode are going to be the same however master mode they're going to be doing something different where now if you want to um queue up for master mode flashpoints in um in group finder you need to actually have an average gear rating of 242 meaning your gear is going to need to be pretty good for master mode now the way that's going to be regulated is basically you're going to have a gear average totaled up and you're going to be able to see what that average is on your character sheet and in order for you to actually queue up for the flashpoint itself uh, you're going to need to have an average of 242 this does not affect pre-made so you can still gear up with your guildies or whatever and go and enter the flashpoint this only affects whether you can queue for a master mode flashpoint in group finder now for this update it's only going to apply to the umbara flashpoint however they're thinking about doing it for all master mode flashpoints so basically the whole point of that is just to prevent low geared uh, people who are just queuing up from affecting the other group right because then your group wipes a lot and it gets really annoying so i personally think this is a good change um, now secondly now that's all the information we have for the flashpoint itself we're probably going to get newer information as the time comes by but secondly and this one is really exciting we are getting a new stronghold and a lot of you guys might be thinking oh it's time for that it's a cool stronghold that was data mined a while ago but actually this caught me totally off guard we're getting an umbara stronghold so they're actually giving us a stronghold on the planet now before you guys form an opinion on it keith did tell us that this is going to be the most unique stronghold yet and he gave us a little bit of a, a sneak peek he said you'll be able to decorate your own moving train so you heard me right there's going to be a moving train or something and you're going to be able to decorate it now i'm not sure how that's going to look in game however what i really like is their direction uh where you have dynamic things going on in the stronghold so it's not going to be just some small thing because the manon stronghold was indeed a disappointment it was a disappointment on the front that they didn't uh, play the underwater part well enough they didn't give us a huge dome they didn't put in sea creatures and all that stuff that i think people were, ex uh, were really excited for and obviously secondly it was way too small so the fact that they're giving us another stronghold that i really hope they're going to put a lot of more effort into it because there was such a uh, quite a lot of backlash with the manon stronghold so i really hope that they're going to make this one better and he did give us that assurance that this is going to be a really unique stronghold that's definitely going to stick out from the rest so he said more details are coming about that but that is definitely something to get excited about really hoping the give us a preview soon and that's going to be really exciting to decorate and since we just got the Manon stronghold you do have like a month to enjoy that because August 22nd is coming by in, in exactly a month actually since I'm recording this video and so um, that's going to be another exciting stronghold to decorate. Thirdly and some small quality of life stuff regarding companion customization um, they said Senya Terrell can now have her weapons and armor customized Lana and Koth and Senya's hairstyles are also available for purchase to customize your own character with them so some small stuff that I don't really care about but maybe a lot of you guys might care about it and then the other thing is companions will now be able to be summoned while moving small stuff there. Uh, there's going to be a new feature on the in-game preference screen where you can, uh, which has been added for higher graphic settings to improve the realism of contrast and shadows. So that only really applies for people who can play higher graphics on their computers. I haven't even really messed around with the graphic settings on my own computer. But here's something a little bit more important. Regarding class balance, we will have a few disciplines that are going to be receiving changes. So on the Imperial side, lethality concealment and medicine so all three of the disciplines for the operative basically and then fury and carnage for the marauder these will un be undergoing some class balancing changes they have not told us whether they're buffs or nerfs i'm not sure actually i don't think any of these are particularly overpowered and then for the um republic side the counterpart is ruffian scrapper sawbones concentration and combat so basically operatives and uh, sentinels and marauders are all going to be having a little bit of changes going on and then finally, 
Again, something a little bit more exciting, and since I've actually been doing ranked PvP for Season 8, I'm quite excited for this new information. Uh, season 8 will come to an end, so on August 22nd, Season 8 will be over. Uh, they're going to be giving us a full breakdown of the rewards along with screenshots a little bit later, but they did say that the top rewards will be a full weapon set, which I know a lot of people are excited for, as well as a new mount, and that mount is going to be called the Ember Macron. So we do already have one Macron in the game. It's basically just like an Acclay, but it's that mount from, or it's that animal from Makeb. Uh, so now we're getting an Ember one, which I assume will have some sort of flashy uh, Ember animation on it. And then they also mentioned, uh, this one's exciting as well, we are making changes to the daily and weekly mission rewards for PvP, and the intent is that they're going to substantially improve the unassembled component gain for players who complete both ranked and unranked missions. So whether you're playing regs or whether you're doing ranked, you're going to be getting more of those unassembled components, and it's going to be easier to gear up your characters. So, once again, these are just sneak peeks. Uh, this is not the full breakdown of information. It's very limited, but we're, this is the kind of stuff that we're going to be seeing in the new roadmap that's coming in the coming weeks. So, uh, definitely something to get excited for. I think a lot of the buzz in the comment section of this video is going to be on that Umbara flashpoints. I mean, sorry, on that uh, new stronghold. So, definitely let me know what you guys think about that, what you guys are hoping for. And as soon as new information comes by, I'll jump on and make a video. This is something that is pretty exciting. And I love this kind of stuff that catches me off guard because I was not expecting a stronghold at all. And even if they came up with a stronghold, I was thinking they were going to do that's a cool thing. However, the fact that we're getting a new and unique stronghold that is going to stick out from the rest, that's really exciting. Along with the Flashpoint, which I assume is going to be good because it's continuing on a story that I kind of have been enjoying. I really enjoyed the last IOCath update, so I'm excited to see how the story goes from there and identifying who that traitor is. And then, of course, we have the uh, ranked PvP coming to an end. So anyone that's been doing ranked PvP, I'm excited to see what those uh, weapons are going to look like. And I really hope I have enough tokens to afford them. I only have like 40, 50,000, so I really hope that's enough, but we'll see. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.